Hey folks, it's Dan from DisneyInfinityCodes.com, and I'm here inside the toy box of Disney Infinity 3.0 to check out this really cool set piece that is unlocked in the Force Awakens playset for the toy box. This is one of the bigger set pieces that you can unlock inside the game, and it is the fallen AT-AT home of Rey that we see featured in the movie, and then also in the back little corner of the Jakku playset while you're on the planet in and around the crashed Star Destroyer section. This is a really, really cool set piece. I gotta love it. The only other big at, -AT set piece we've got for the toy box is the large it's one that's standing up and kind of has the sides open that is more of a platforming tool than anything. And uh, this set piece is a little bit different because it's crashed and it's all opened up and rusty and embedded in sand. And it's pretty rad. If you are in the Jakku playset and you complete the... I'm going to take a peek here and make sure I give you the right... It's the Bait and Switches mission, which is the mission where you've got to send around the mouse droids to all the different switches around the Jakku playset in order to open up some doors to collect some junk and whatnot. So if you complete that mission with three stars, you can unlock this set piece which is awesome nothing really breakable inside of it but still it's a great little platforming tool it's very similar to the fallen ATAT -AT that you see inside of the first level the sand trap level of Jakku that you play through to escape the corridors of the Star Destroyer overall it's pretty great I love I love the design of it and I love everything you can do with it climb it run around it would be a pretty sweet addition to any kind of platforming toy box or any Jakku toy box, you know? So there you go. This is uh, the Fallen AT-AT set piece. Thanks for watching. Visit us at DisneyInfinityCodes.com for all the other set piece unlockables for the Force Awakens playset. You guys rock. Thanks for watching.